Hello, uh, I'm Matthew Gonzalez, and I'm going to be talking about uh, Steel Timber Sports. So, Steel is a brand that manufactures power equipment, outdoor power equipment. They also sponsor a uh, timber sports series. And that's what I'm talking about. Um, I compete in a collegiate league because uh, I'm on the uh, Paul Smith Woodsman team here on campus. And I'm not going to be talking about collegiate because the collegiate league varies a lot because no two meets that you go to will be the same. You'll have different events, different wood, it, it and it's always variable. So for this, I'm going to be talking about the Pro Series sponsored by Steel. They have six core hot saw, which is basically a really big, super modified chainsaw that you have to cut uh, some wood with. You got to make uh, two cuts and then you have stock saw which is a stock chainsaw the steel um, ms661 chainsaw and you would make three cuts with that and that's that's those two they're pretty straightforward the next ones are going to be um your chops so there's three big chops you have your standing block where the tree is standing vertical and the competitor starts on one side, makes his face cut being a triangle, so he's cutting a triangle out of it, like the tree was. And then he would run around to the other side and make his second cut, and then hopefully at that point, he's severed the wood, so now his top piece is falling off, and that's how you would do the standing block chop. Next is gonna be the underhand chop. So back in the days of logging, um, when it was all done by horse and hand, um, the, after you fell the tree, you then have this really big tree on the ground. And to get that all moved around, it's kind of difficult to move a, a whole tree so they'd cut it up into segments. And to do that, you'd have your lumberjack standing on the log, and he would make his cut on the front side. Again, he'd make the notch, so a big triangle piece cut out from the front. Then he'd turn around and do the back side. And he'd take a notch out of there, eventually severing the two pieces. That was um, how they would do it then, and now you just have a shorter log and much nicer axes and a controlled environment, but that's how the underhand chop goes. Your um, time is done when the two pieces of wood are severed. It's pretty straightforward, yet still quite difficult. Next, uh, your last of the chopping events are it's going to be the springboard chop. So what a springboard is, is this... Um, board that has this little hook little tooth thing on the front of it so how it works is you would cut a notch about a four inch notch it's very specific how you have to cut it but I'm not getting into that because to explain that notch alone would take a couple minutes um, but to, um, to use a springboard you cut your notch out of the tree or the log or whatever you're climbing then you would jam your springboard in there and then you could stand on it and back in the days of logging um, when they did it by hand, that's what you would use when you were doing your cross cut to cut a tree down. Now, it's um, more just uh, used to get a platform. And for steel, you would have your notch, and then you'd put a board in. And, and then you would stand on that board, put a second one in while you're in the air on that board. And then on the top, you would do pretty much the sanding block chop, except you can't run around. So you have to make a very big cut on one side and a smaller cut on the back side. You'd make a smaller cut on the back side because, um, you know, you have your dominant hand when you're chopping. Just like if you were to brush your teeth with your left hand, if you're right-handed, it would feel weird. So that's why they take bigs out of the front and a small out of the back. The last one, um, no longer a chop, it's a, it's a single buck. So if you guys have ever seen a two-man saw, two-man cross cut, that's when you have the two people on each side cutting the wood now imagine you're one guy trying to do that all by himself that's not too much fun um but that's what the single buck is single bucks also earned uh the nickname of the misery whip because cutting with them can be quite miserable that's all i really have time for and i just want to thank you again um for listening to me ramble about something i enjoy thanks